everyone, this is Rachel, and I'm here with another process video. Now today I'm working on a layout with these three horizontal 3x4 three photos. And if you watched my video where I put together my counterfeit kit, you'll remember this is the piece of pattern paper that I had tried to use my silhouette on, but it did not work out very well. So I have cut it out to use as a border, and then I took this other piece of paper. It's also from Studio Calico. It's hard to see on the video. It ha it's a very light gray, and it has the outline of, alpha of the alphabet all over it in white. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the photo I'm going to have in the center, and I'm going to border it with the paper I'm using as my entire layout border and I just wanted to first of all bring that pink into the center of the layout and I also wanted to emphasize this photo as it's the photo with the people in it. Now what I'm going to do next is mount all three photos on this dotted chevron paper and this is from the Jen Hadfield everyday paper and that comes from my actual Scraptastic kit. Uh, the March Scraptastic Kit is what I'm working with right now. And I'm debating on whether I want it to go all the way across or whether I want it to be shorter. And, of course, I don't – I think I wanted to have it all the way across, so I put tape on it, and then I go, no, I really don't want it all the way across. So I have to very carefully cut off ends of two of my photos. So they're no longer going to be 3 by 4 They're going to be more like 3 by 3 and 3 quarters. <laughs> so – and now I'm just trying to get it back on the angle that I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and lay it across this dotted chevron paper. And I like the way that looks much better. Oh, and now I'm showing you the paper. So the gray one is called Rough Draft. And then the pink dotted one is called The Old Town. And here's the other one I'm using, the dotted chevron. So I go ahead and I'm going to trim that paper off. And then I'm going to trim each of the edges down. Because what I don't want is I don't want it to go over my where the gray paper is. I want it to stay centered on there. And I like the way that looks, so I'm happy with that. So now I had saved the parts that had gotten cut out of that failed silhouette trial. <laughs> yeah, that one just, oof, I don't know what happened. It just did not work out as well. So I'm debating on using these diamonds running vertically along the right side of my page and then doing another cluster of them down in the bottom left-hand corner. But before I glue any of my stuff down, I did want to put a base layer of color underneath my photos. So I'm choosing four of my mini Heidi Swap color shines, and I'm going to use all four colors under where my photo goes. And as I'm thinking about that, I'm like, oh, wait, I wanted to add some more color than just blue. So I take this diagonal stripe paper, and this is from my conf confederate, my confederate kit. Yeah, that would be my counterfeit kit. Hello, and I go ahead and add that behind the other navy blue paper that I have originally behind my photos. So once I do that, I'm going to mark where my photo block ends. That way I'm not misting completely under where my photo is. And I've chosen four Heidi swap color shines and those are navy patina coral and blush and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go from darkest to light on the bottom and then from light to dark on the top so just to add some color variance in between the top and the bottom of where my photos are going to go now i get all of that set and i let it dry a little bit before i go ahead and place my photos back on the paper, but I'm happy with the way that looks, so I'm going to go ahead and lay down some glue on that using my ATG. And now I'm going to go ahead and put back the diamonds, and I decide after taking a look at all the ink I put on that I thought rather than hide it all up and also rather than separate that entire right-hand corner, right-hand side of my layout, I'm just going to add a few diamonds and I do end up using my ruler just to make sure they line up. And I'm also going to add them in the lower left-hand side and I'm going to keep them so the polka dotted diamonds don't hit the polka dotted border because it just it looked weird when I originally had that happen. So once I get all of those laid down and I do trim up to one to be half vertically and one to be half horizontally, I pull out this sticker sheet from 
the basic gray typeset collection that is part of my counterfeit kit and I add that file folder sticker that says amazing and then also the sticker that says three because there's three of us and also the one that says best day because we were having a very good day and then I start pulling out these clear stickers from Heidi Swap that came in the Scraptastic kit. I always have the hardest time using clear stickers because you have to they just don't work for me. So I pull out these Heidi Swap Puffy stickers that actually came in the Scraptastic kit. Uh, not Scraptastic kit, the Scraptastic add-on, but I had them already. Now, here comes something new. I know you guys enjoy your feline interruptions. I had gone to look for another alpha that I didn't end up using, and she took advantage, so I thought I would highlight it for y'all. I pull out the Amy Tangerine sticker book, and that's where I get the rest of my title, which is Revolting Broadway. Uh, for those of you who don't know the show Matilda, there is a song called Revolting, Revolting Children. It's their finale, so it's a kind of a play on the words. It makes sense if you're a Broadway geek like me. Otherwise, people are going, well, if it's revolting, why are you going? <laughs> so I grab some more stickers. I also use the edges of that dotted chevron. On the opposite side of that are those large polka dots. So I decided to border vertically my title with those pieces. And uh, as I said, from the Amy Tangerine, I grabbed that little arrow and... I do my journaling later on. I could not find my Sharpie. It's a little bit slick, so I wanted it. There is not a lot of journaling. This is going to be one of many, not many, probably five or six layouts I do about our New York trip. So I will do more journaling on a different page. It's kind of a, an all-encompassing thing of my, my of our trip. I grab another flare from the Scraptastic kit. Sorry, I grabbed a flare from the Scraptastic kit. I'm going to grab another flare from the basic gray typeset line that I added to my counterfeit kit. I'm also adding these enamel shapes. These are from Heidi Swap. Also another ad from my counterfeit kit. A lot of counterfeit kit stuff in this particular layout. I'm almost completed. I did add a little bit more black Heidi Swap color shine and here's where I add the flare. Sorry I got a little messed up with my little uh, Miss Zampi and here's where I go to do my journaling but I cannot find my Sharpie and as I said that sticker it's just a little bit slick and I didn't want to risk smooshing my layout. That is all for me today. If you found this fun, please flick me a thumbs up. It's super awesome when you can do that. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Have a great day, everyone. Bye!